What is a teleprompter and when and why would you use one? Well, I'm using a teleprompter right now. Take a look. A teleprompter is a piece of flat mirrored glass that sits in front of the lens of a camera. Below it is a computer screen that projects continuously scrolling words onto the glass. Using this system, a speaker can keep steady eye contact with the viewer whilst ensuring that they deliver information exactly as it has been written. Right now, I want to make sure that I explain this concept of a teleprompter as clearly as possible. So I've written a short script and I'm using it to make sure that I cover all the points that I want to make. So when and where do you need a teleprompter? This is not a case of more is always better. You may have heard that Barack Obama is cutting back on his use of teleprompters. Well, he wants his vice president, Joe Biden, to use them more often. So it depends. There are some on-camera situations where you'd never use one. For example, you'd never use a teleprompter in an interview. First, because you almost always want to be looking at your interviewer, not directly into the camera lens. Second, because an interview is a type of conversation, it has a unique kind of flow that does not lend itself to a more structured, perfected delivery of a teleprompter read. There are many situations where you will want to use a teleprompter. Sometimes they are useful at press conferences, delivering corporate video messaging, doing marketing and sales videos, hosting TV shows, and so on. So how do you work with a teleprompter? Ideally, it works with you. That is, you see this person over here? She is a teleprompter operator. If she's doing her job correctly, she'll be listening very carefully to the speed at which I'm reading. In turn, she's controlling the speed of the words to match my delivery. In other words, you control the pace. There's one other kind of teleprompter to be aware of. It's known as a presidential teleprompter. It's a piece of glass onto which words are projected, seemingly hanging there in midair. There is no camera attached to them. Usually two of these monitors are positioned to the right and to the left of the speaker so that they can address the whole audience gracefully. That's all the technical part. Now for the delivery part. And here's the challenge. Looking into a teleprompter lens can easily be an emotionally flat experience. If you end up being so concerned about just reading the words correctly, it can rob you of your personality. Your job is to bring your message to life. To do that, start by thinking of the teleprompter as a real person to whom you are trying to impart information that you really care about. So here's an easy step-by-step -step guide to delivering teleprompter-driven messages with competence and personality. 1. Know your material. Read your presentation out loud at least five times to five different people. 2. Make note of how they responded. Those images of their facial reactions will help you to look into the teleprompter with some energy and some dynamism in your delivery. You will be more readily able to relate to the teleprompter as a person. Three, look in a mirror and take note of your own facial expressions as they emerge while you are speaking. What works, what doesn't work? What did you want to emote? Barack Obama developed his style by rehearsing his speeches so thoroughly that he literally planned and blocked every facial expression, gesture and movement until it became a natural part of his delivery. 4. Don't gauge your response to your delivery by the people working with you in the studio. Chances are you'll find yourself amongst a small team of people who are simply focused on their technical contribution to the process of making video. Don't expect any help from them. In most cases, you'll get some blank stares. Don't take it personally. They are professionals focused on their jobs. 5. As much as time permits, negotiate a few practice runs before you start committing your segments to tape. Ask to read the first round just to get used to the setup. Second time round, get a sense of your timing in terms of how you work with the teleprompter operator. Also focus on the words you want to stress. The third time through, work on the subtleties of your delivery, like where you want to slightly pause for extra drama or emphasis. Once you feel comfortable with the studio, the production team, and your material, then ask them to turn on the camera and put something to tape. And six, 
cut yourself some slack. No matter how accomplished a speaker you may be, like most things, working successfully with a teleprompter requires you go through a learning curve. Expect that the first few times is going to be, well, a bit rocky. Just stay with it, relax into the process, and you'll get there. Bottom line is, you're telling a story. Slow down, work with the punctuation. Allow it to separate thoughts and listen to yourself speak the ideas with which you want your listener to understand and embrace. Remember that your listener is hearing what you are saying for the first time, and they need time to assimilate what you're saying. Listen to yourself. Practice, allow your personality to come through, and you will ultimately be on message. Thank <laughs> you.